Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon. I'm your host, Imperialis, and we just finished rescuing Commissar Yarek, which is awesome. He was hanging out in a blue building, whatever that's all about. Looks like a power generator or something. A factory. Factory. And a ruined factory. So I guess he was hanging out in a ruined factory surrounded by functional factories. But anyhow, uh, we are about to finish this mission up. So let's end it and see what's in store for us next. It is good to see you again. And, I admit, not a moment too soon. See, I told you war fashions exceptional acts and leaders. And I note you have brought the Adeptus Astartes with you. Excuse me, Commander. I must talk to the Blood Angel's chapter master before his warriors slay every Xenos still breathing and rob us of any intelligence. Commander, your men must be praised. I like how they uh, have Yerrick change in this too, like, because in the actual battle for Armageddon, he loses his arm and he lost an eye and all that sort of stuff. He got pretty messed up. And so they actually have him with, with his new war gear equipped. So, I like that. It's a nice touch. Uh, anyhow, Commander, your men must be praised. None is needed. We were just doing our duty, as were you. I am glad you are finding your faith again. I'm grateful for that. Just offer thanks from me when you next send tribute to the Emperor. Praise the men, but I have no time for such things. Well, I've been playing a fairly understanding commander so far, so let's stick with that. I will pray, but not just to the Emperor. The group I belong to, the Brotherhood of Sol, take a more holistic overview. Still, I will indeed pray. Change is needed. And the Space Marines, and you in particular, Commander, seem to be the best agents to do this while the Orcs still thrive. Oh, the murmurings of unorthodoxy. It is as I feared, my lord. The Orcs are far more devious than we have given them credit for. Gazkul Thracker is far more powerful and intelligent than any other Orc we have encountered. Perhaps since the legends of Ullan. Yet he is still flesh and base blood, Commissar. The Xenos can and will be killed, and Armageddon liberated. We have three Space Marine chapters on world, and the likes of the Commander's Steel Legion here. The Orcs cannot stand against us. We need to cut the head off this serpent. Once their figurehead is gone, the rest of the Orcs will revert to their more predictable behavior and be easier to wipe out. What next, my lord? Please, you and the commander have more than earned my respect and can address me as Commander Dante. Ever since Thraka evaded my grasp at Hades, he has switched his attention to Tartarus. The beast, in another ingenious move, has attempted to cripple the last manufacturer base still intact and starve our forces of supplies. We have precious little time to counter this threat. The Blood Angels and Ultramarines must return to their ships immediately, and will combat drop directly on the halls. This is a risky strategy, but we don't have any other choice. Lord Dante, Asheron is secure. We've massacred countless greenskins at the city's bridges. They will long remember the wrath of Vulcan. Now, Steel Legion can take over defending the crossings. I request that the Salamanders join you at Tartarus. We wish to burn more orcs. You have done well, brother. We will fight this battle side by side, slaying the beasts with bolter and fire. Commander, you will follow shortly after us. We need every able man we can muster in this battle. Take your battalions. Under my authority, requisition all functioning void ships and make the journey across the continent to Tartarus. Once there, wait for my signal. Commander, you have made it to Tartarus just in time. Space Marines have established a perimeter and seized all bridges across Skeletus River, thus preventing the bulk of the Orcish army from crossing to this side. For the moment, we only need to deal with half of the Horde. Land your ships and deploy for the battle. This might be your most difficult battle yet. The Orcs outnumber us ten to one. But they did not expect us, and are now bewildered. By acting fast, we'll tip the balance in our favor. Strike decisively, and aim for Gaskull's mobile base, his 
boss fortress to use their best in parts. If you get the opportunity, take the creature out. Good to have you here at Tartarus, Commander. It's a name of hell and fire that evokes strong feelings in my brethren. Steel Legion and Space Marines will fight this battle together. I will see you on the battlefield. Okay, so... All four victory hexes and destroy Gazakal Thraka's battle fortress unit. So the four victory hexes are in the middle. Not very far, but somehow I doubt it will be that simple. Okay, so let's see, do I have any... Oh, I have tons of requisition points, that's fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's see, what do we want to go for? I like the idea of the Shadow Sword, because I think if Gazakal's Battle Fortress is super, super tough, the Shadow Sword is undoubtedly the best tool I have for the job, so I'm going to buy one of those. Purchase that. Oh, shiny. Go well with my Bane Blade. Um, now, what else do I want? I've got lots of tanks still. I've got the destroyers, which have been useful previously here. could probably use a couple more. I've only got one, two Lehman Russes, so let's get another Lehman Russ. Uh, let's do another Punisher. Because it, it's situational, but in the situations that it's useful, it's very useful. And... Another kind of general purpose Lehman Russ, maybe. So that leaves me with four more points to spend. For infantry... Let's pull up our good friends, the Blood Angels. The Heavy Bolter guys did quite well last time, so let's buy another one of them with a Rhino. So we've now got a Tactical Squad with a Rhino, Devastator Squad with a Rhino, only one Ogren Squad. Let's buy another one of them with a Chimera. Can he get a vehicle? Cannot. Okay. Never mind that then. And to pop back to the Blood Angels. Do I want to do Terminators? Terminators are fun. Let's do Terminators with an assault cannon. Oh yeah, and they can get a Land Raider. <laughs> They're gonna be friggin' beasts. Okay. And still have eleven thousand points, and I can purchase one more unit. What do I want? That is the question. What am I weak on? I've got lots of anti-tank. I've got some decent anti-infantry. Still have my... Look at how much experience that Basilisk lost. Oh, you poor guy. Um, do I just want another tactical squad? Because I've got close combat with the Ogrins, and they're pretty disposable. I don't really care about them. Uh, um, yeah, go away. I want to click there. Thank you. Um, let us do... Yeah, let's do another tactical squad with a Rhino. And that should do it. So, now, as for strategy, I think I'm going to put my artillery kind of up here. That sounds like a good idea. So... 
pop you down there, pop you down there, let's have you back here, because they can sit up here and be relatively safe, hopefully, and range in on uh, orc camp. Now, down here, let's put my scout out front. Pop them there. Devastators I'll put there and have them go for these buildings as quick as they can. Support them with a tactical squad and some ogrins. We'll do tactical squad, ogrins. Dante has to walk everywhere, so we'll put them down there. And we'll put ratlings with them so that they can hopefully take another building. Now, pop a destroyer down there. You guys move slow, so let's put my super heavies down south. You're pretty quick, so let's put you up there. And I'm just going to drop a regular predator up here to help try and protect this flank so that my artillery doesn't get flanked. And what the heck, we'll drop the... Hellhound down there to clear the buildings. Okay, I think that's that. Let's let's see how this turns out. Well, lots of orcs there to begin with. So let's go to work. Shooter boys with big shooter, you're the big threat. Because you support people. Skullhammer Battle Fortress, well, I see your skull hammer and raise you a bane blade. Out of range for the Volcano Cannon, which is a little inconvenient, but four Heavy Bolters will still put some hurt on them. Do I have range? the range on this one to four. get me into cover, so let's do that. And let's burn you. Actually, do I want to do an armored punch up this way? Maybe. Okay. So I'm just going to send maybe these three tanks around to the north and see if I can't do some stuff over there. Devastators. Are you in cover at all? You're not. Let's move you there. 
chew up some of those Shuna boys. Dante. Do you feel like punching a tank? You could. You'd take a lot of casualties, though. I'm sure you would take a lot of casualties. No, let's let the tanks deal with the tanks. I'm... <laughs> Captain Tycho's had his squad wiped out like six times. Let's finish them off. Oh, well, they took a bit of a da bit of damage there. That's inconvenient. Okay, let's end this turn. Let's see what we get. Oh, stop killing Captain Tycho. And my poor Ogrens. down. Impressed that the little sniper rifles could take out a death dread. I guess they're really good shots. That's my logic behind it, at least. You've moved. Can we bring in some more artillery? Not really. a decent trade. Well, not so decent once the actual random number generator took over, but still. Captain Tycho. I need your men to die for me. Ow. Now, let's back you. Oh, no, not that far. Back you up to there. Well, that was ineffective. like those odds. Oh, oh crud, there's shooter boys right there. That's less than ideal. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Wasn't lying when this said this was shaping up to be a tough fight. Oh good, I can finish that off. That's good. Now it's just this death dread left, but I've got a tactical squad in the way, so hopefully that'll help. Might lose this destroyer, but... Dems to brakes. Oh god, am I gonna lose Tycho? Don't kill Tycho.
lost a salamander. Tycho, get out. Kill Crusher. You pull back. Oh, that was a misclick. That was a totally ineffectual use of that. The Crusher Cannon has a range of Oh no, it does have a range of four. Well, that sucked. That did nothing. I guess I can purchase two new things since I lost my salamander. Um, what are you? I'm dealing with lots of armor. Oh, you're a big-ass anti-infantry, like, God knows what that is. Thunderfire cannon? Helios might not be the worst thing in the world. Sort of a heavy duty artillery piece. Or do I want to go back to Steel Legion? Bane Sword with Quake. Oh, wow. You're a giant artillery piece. I love that idea. Okay, so we have a Bane Sword now. And you can advance. Okay, so this was obviously a suboptimal place to put those artillery pieces. That is a damn tough kill crusher. They are not normally that hard to take down. Um, I'm going to hold off on them for now, maybe, unless I mount them up, at which point I have four LAS cannons. Oh, that's a risk. Terminators are expensive to replace. Actually, you know what I might want? Infantry. Do I want a Death Company Assault Squad? Yeah, let's give them a try. See what they can do. At the very least, they'll be able to tear through those guys in close combat and kind of keep my southern flank safe. Okay. It might have also been a bad idea to have sent these guys up here, but I'm kind of committed now. Okay, so we are coming up on half an hour, so I think I'm just going to do one more turn and then probably call it a s recording session. What do we see? We see lots. There's our friend the Kill Crusher again. Kill the Kill Crusher? It's doing nothing! Nothing at all!
At least that did something. Take out a few of them. They're going to be out of range. You charge. Do what Death Company does best. Charge in, get killed. Take as many of them as you can with you. Okay, took out another Kill Crusher. Now if I get him within two squares, he'll be able to use the Demolisher Cannon. Should. Yes, take him out. Most excellent. Now those guys are sad, so we can shoot at them without too much worry. Um, yeah, let's get some replacements for the Ogrins. Advance up to there. Advance up to there. Move! Squig off with cannon! Well, that did some damage. That's good. I like that. Let's push these ogrins up this way too. Dante, get replacements. You're now down to one experience. Okay, so I think... Everyone who can move has moved. Everyone who can shoot has shot. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put a cut in here, and we will catch you next time. Until then, cheers.